Hello and welcome to Open Source and ZPanel community. Today we're going to demonstrate how to install a copy of SEO Toaster e-commerce edition 205. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Blogger. Here we go, we go to seotoaster.com and we go to uh, download the latest version. In this case it's going to be 2.0.5. Don't forget to get the quick installation guide. I'm going to save the link on my desktop and I press save. Now back to my browser and okay let's start by unzipping the RAR file that I just loaded. By the way I'm using the Z panel control panel for the Apache web server based on CentOS. I'm going to now uh, and zip the file and I'm going to extract content to my desktop and create a new folder we can do a monitor so uh, I'm not recording on one and I'm looking on the other one so it gets a little bit tricky so if you bear with me a little bit so anyway I'm now extracting the file to the folder meanwhile I'm going to open FileZilla FTP program to upload the contents to my server again as usual I'm using the AG dash server dot tk waiting until he's finished to extract Meanwhile, don't forget to um, subscribe and share my videos, please. There we go, that's done. Now I'm going to upload the content to the server. There are over 4,000 files, so I'm going to it you didn't see anything in it but there we go everything's done uploaded let's open the browser now I'm going to redirect to my domain in this case ag server.tk and we go straight to the install folder as you can see everything's done there's some recommendation IOQ loader uh, on this installation I haven't got any iron cube so for more information please go to zpanelcp.com where you can find how to install iron cube on your server if you are using zpanel I'm going to create now a database and a database user as usual I'm going to uh, write down the name of the application SEO toaster so the database name is going to be Z admin underscore SEO toaster and the database username is going to be SEO toaster and the application is going to create the password as well I'm 
we're going to map to see those uh, database and the press create job done and we're going to pass one as well I'm now going back to the installation and I'm going to insert or input the information that is the username then we're going to copy and paste the password and I'm going to write down the database name then admin underscore see it also oops password that is the actual path code automatically done it set names you can leave it empty or just put whatever you want really you can also change it later on in the settings in the administration settings Here we go, didn't know that, it doesn't want any spaces, quite strange, but here we go, press go ahead, for any problem you got on uh, Z panel X server, don't forget to again can we contact us on zpanelcp.com and you can ask anything on the forum here I'm going to put the admin name admin the admin email my usual non working email just for the tutorials that I use the password simple one and I'll verify the password yeah if you can click if you want a free sale somewhere account or just go ahead that's it here you got the full install CTOS e-commerce full system installed in your server now don't forget it does this because it goes straight to the install now what you want to do you want to go back to your FTP program and delete the install folder as you can see here I'm still logged in don't forget to do this step otherwise every time you go to the domain name it goes to the install folder that means you go be redirected to the install system again once you've been done that you delete the, the, the folder go back and all you need to do just to refresh to the main domain and everything is supposed to be okay nice and working as you can see CTOS is installed now I'm going to uh, show you a little bit around then I'm going to uh, log in to the admin side of it So if you put your domain forward slash go and then you put the admin, in this case it was the actual email, I thought it was just the logins, so that's the one, uh, admin at ag-server.tk and the password and press let me in. Here we go, you got the main system here where you can do a lot of things. You can uh, change the layout, add new products, add media, edit your 404 pages, so on and so forth. This default, uh, as far as I understand, is only one default template, but I'm sure there are plenty of uh, free templates around. Don't forget logically to go to cotoaster.com where you can actually find more information 
where you can find shortcuts and anything else you need to make sure that you create a nice website. Thank you again for tuning in and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share all my videos. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.